Hey guys, it's Nurse Jade, Nursing the Truth. I hope everyone's having a great day. So go check out my two videos from today about Gnosticism and knowledge and that we are divine. And who really got stoned? Was it James or Stephen? Go check it out. You're really going to be surprised. Now, if that doesn't make you have your interest, then let's keep talking about this uh, Pope Clement the First. Now, the backdrop is Pope Clement the First was supposed to be the second apostle to the Roman Church, second in line to Peter. He said that he received his teachings from Peter. But do you really know who Pope Clement was? Now, whether it be true or not, did he go by the ways of the Jewish Christians? Um, you know, the Gnosticism ways, um, the different sects, not the real Torah observant all the way. So let's check it out. You know, Clement wrote, or they say that he wrote the Clementine homilies and recognitions. They're both two separate different books and you can get them on the internet and read them for at your disposal. But if you go to recognition 7.8, Clement talks about his family history. And I had no idea about this and guys, <laughs> I'm fixing to open a can of worms. So, Clement's writing. Then said Peter. Peter's talking to Clement. Because they're piling around. He's showing them the ins and outs. He's teaching them about this new, you know, thing going on. Is there then no one of your family surviving, Clement? Clement, he says, I answered. It's in first person. Whoever's writing it, if it's him, I don't care, but I'm just letting you know. I answered, Clement. There are indeed many powerful men coming of the stock of Caesar. For Caesar himself gave a wife to my father. Caesar gave a wife to Clement's father as being his relative and educated along with him and of a suitable noble family. By her, my father had twin sons born before me, not very like one another, as my father told me. For I never knew them. But indeed, I have not a distinct recollection even of my mother. But I cherish the remembrance of her face as if I have seen it in a dream. My mother's name was Mathadea. This lady, now that I'm Messed up on that. Hang on. Okay, yeah. This lady, Mathadia, was called Demetia Lipida the Younger. Demetia Lipida the Younger was born in 5 CE and died in 54 CE. The younger daughter of Consul Lucius Domitus Anabaris and Antonia Major is where she came from. Her elder sister was Domitia Lepida the Elder and her younger brother was Gnaeus Domitius Anthabaris, father of Emperor Nero. She was the great niece of Emperor Augustus and granddaughter of Octavia the Younger and Mark Antony. Second cousin to the Emperor Caligula, first cousin and mother-in-law to Emperor Claudius and paternal aunt of Emperor Nero. 
He said, my father's Faustiniasus, Apius Junus Silanus, consul AD 28 and married in 41 AD. He's saying his father is Faustiniasus. My brothers are Faustus, F-A-U-S-T-U-S, -S, and Faustinus, F-A-U-S-T-I-N-U-S. Twins born taking names of their stepfather and sent away for safety. Salinus was put to death in the following year, 42 AD, by Claudius, allegedly because he had plotted to assassinate Claudius. But the rumor to assassinate Claudius circulated that Valeria Messalina had framed her stepfather after he resisted her advances. Messalina was the daughter of Domitia Lepida the Younger and her first husband, Marcus Valerius Messalina Barbatus, who died in 20 AD. Now, when I was barely five years old, my mother saw a vision. So I learned from my father, Faustus Cornelius Sulla Lucullus III, Consul AD, a descendant of the dictator Lucius Cornelius Sulla by which she was warned that unless she speedily left the city with her twins and was absent for 10 years, she and her children would perish from a miserable fate. Once removed and closely allied with Caligula's circle, shortly thereafter she gave birth to a daughter, Claudia Octavia, a son named Tiberius Claudius Germanicus and later known as Britannicus, was born just after Claudius' accession. Titus states that she went so far as to compete with the prostitute to see who could have the most sexual partners in a night and manipulated his policies in order to amass wealth. In 48, Messalina married her lover, Gaius Silius, in a public ceremony while Claudius was at Ostia. Sources disagree as to whether or not she divorced the emperor first and whether the intention was to usurp the throne. In 48 AD, Messalina was executed on the orders of Claudius. So, so what do you think about that? He was a Flavian. His actual name was Titus Flavius Clemens, Pope Clement I. Don't get him mixed up with Clement of Alexandria, which they all like to do. They're all related. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. The second Pope of Rome, per se, was Pope Clement of Flavian. The Flavian dynasty He took over in 88, I believe, either between 88 and 85, and he died about 100. The temple of Judea was burned in 70, and he was the second pope from Peter. Looks like a lot of people have been writing, doing things under the cuff, because no Jew, if you know Judaic law, no Jew is going to be buried in a foreign country. He will be buried in the cemetery or the catacombs with his family. Until next time, I hope you've enjoyed this enlightening video. Please, my friends, do your research. Dig and dig deep and deep. The web is very deep. Flavian Dynasty ruled the day. So, it's kind of cool to figure out about these dirty little bastards. But, 
it doesn't make a difference to me because I'm free anyway. And I'm not bound by book. And I'm not bound by what other men say. So, guys, keep searching. Hotep, Ashe. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.